Suns inbound from in front of their bench. No subs either way. Again, about three and a half second difference game and shot. Big thing is now watch a quick pass down inside. Stoudemire. There it is. is. Cutting. Four point three to go. Timeout. Spurs. Now that that was absolutely beautiful. When they made that pass into Stoudemire, they set a back screen on Grand Hill's man. The old story: the most dangerous guy in the gym is the guy out of bounds. Okay. <laughs> Now, that was a beautiful back screen. They made the pass. They have not showed that play one time tonight. Now, just keep an eye on this now. Now, just watch the back screen. You're going to see it right there. And Ash sets the back screen, and they run, you know, a held right from out of bounds. Well executed. And the fact that they threw the ball to Stoudemire, you could see the relaxing of the defense because they thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation for Amari. And here, 4.3 to go. Hill switches onto Parker. Yeah, I like that switch, mainly because Hill's saying a, a taller guy on Tony Parker. Here he comes to the top. Parker at the top on Hill, shakes, bumps for Mason. Three for the win. Good! Roger Mason! Merry Christmas, San Antonio! Now that was beautifully played, beautifully executed by Popovich and the coaching staff. They brought in all the correct guys. They go to the point guard, and then you could see Grant Hill said, I will take Parker. And when he switched down inside, they brought Parker right up the middle of the floor. Now watch him come right up to them. Now he takes his man. Sure, you can trap him, but when you kick the ball to the corner, you must know that in that situation, the guy you're guarding is shooting threes at 48%. Coming into this game, he had already made 52 threes during the course of the season. And with all the veterans and all the Spurs who've been around and established, it is the new Spur acquired this year from the Wizards, Roger Mason, who leads the team in made three-pointers, makes the three to win the game. Oh, Christmas memory for Roger Mason with Heather Cox. And indeed, a new face with the Spurs, but a huge bucket. How did that possession evolve and find you open on the corner? Well, uh, coach drew up the play, and uh, he told the shooters to get in the corner. Told Tony to go, and uh, you know my my man dropped off of me. Tony had the confidence to give me the ball. After a very slow start, you guys struggled even finding the open shots. How did you guys get the offense going, and especially the most important one late in the game? Well, we're just staying resilient. You know, this is a championship caliber team. I'm blessed to be here and in this opportunity. So, uh, you know, we just stick with it, and uh, God allowed me and gave me the strength to make the shot. Congratulations on the Christmas win, Roger. Hi, Mom. I love you, Mom. <laughs> And San Antonio loves you, Roger. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you as well. They waited to confirm two things via replay. One, that Mason's feet were behind the arc, and they were. And then the fact that the shot was out of his hands before triple zero. And it was. Final score, San Antonio 91, Phoenix 90. The Spurs tied with Houston, half game ahead of New Orleans for their division league. The studio guys are coming up next. Then we'll take you to L.A. for Lakers Celtics with Hubie Brown and Heather Cox. Mike Tirico. Merry Christmas from the NBA on ABC. Christmas to all, and to all a good night.